everybody, Mac Mage here, and I've got another video for you today. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about Cody 17, so stay tuned. What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today. Everything changes. Today, we're going to be talking Cody news and updates, so stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension it is a known security issue. I am the Mac Mage. So I've been getting a couple questions in regards to Cody 17, um, which has not been released um, as a stable build yet. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm hopefully going to answer a few questions that I've been getting about Cody 17. So um, as you guys know, when it comes to add-ons or software or firmware, what have you, I don't do anything right away because there are always bound to be some bug fixes that need to happen, a lot of crashes, a lot of things that come out when the first version of anything is released. Um, so I tend to wait a week, at least two weeks, before I will upgrade or before I will really look at an add-on or anything like that. And that is just for the best chance at stability. Um, so some of you may know that Cody 17 is out and is in the beta stages. So if we go to the Cody, this is Cody.tv and this is their download section. So as you can see their most stable build is still Jarvis at 16.1 and if you scroll down here this is Cody 17 and it talks about the fact that it is not stable it is in the beta stages and will you know will most likely crash and have some bugs that need fixing um, some people have chosen to start downloading it already that's fine if you're more advanced with Cody you know that's fine but if you're beginning with Cody and Jarvis was your first Cody and you're not quite uh, versed in it I would still say hang back um, I personally will not be doing tutorials on Cody 17 until about a week maybe after it's released to the public maybe um, generally when Cody builds come out to the public and they are released um, up here then they are pretty stable and don't have problems so I'll usually update uh, Cody when it's released because there's usually not a whole lot of problems um, but I will wait to see if there are any add-ons that are not going to be following um, the newest version of Cody because what, what does happen sometimes is let's say that you have a particular add-on that you really enjoy with Cody it may not follow over to 17 right away and it may not follow at all so the only way to continue to use it is to stay on the current version that you're on um, so when it comes to the newest version of Cody, like generally I'll hang back because you're really not missing much, but I'm kind of anticipating Cody 17 because it's got some awesome looking features. And so, um, soon I hope to be able to do a bit of a walkthrough for you guys so you can see what it looks like because it is out now, but I would, um, back up my Cody um, prior to doing this so probably this week I will put out a first look at Cody 17 for you guys so those of you who are wanting to see it can actually see it um, well, the other reason that I'm not a huge fan of this version of Cody yet is because um, according to Tektumaru, um, who I like his videos um, and I saw one of his videos on Cody 17 there are a lot of restrictions in regards to the third-party add-ons um, with Cody uh, 17. Now you can have third-party add-ons, but as as of now they are unable to be moved to your home screen. So you actually have to go into the settings of Cody a little bit to retrieve them to get to them. Um, and so right now while there's not that much functionality, um, it's just not worth it to me to update um, my Cody and to show you guys um, Cody right now while it's still really buggy and stuff and hopefully they do resolve the issue of having add-ons on the home screen I'm sure there will be builds that will hopefully fix this um, this restriction um, so I'll be anxious to see that as well um, but definitely 
uh, keep an eye out for my videos on Cody 17 because they are it's it's going to be a really some really big changes. Um, there are going to be huge changes to your home screen. Um, there are going to be changes to the way the layout is. Those of you who are not fans of change, I totally understand that, and I will be able to walk you through it to try and make you as comfortable with it as possible. Um, but for right now, as far as I'm concerned, my advice to anyone um, who is new to Cody or not very comfortable with it right now, I would say definitely just wait until the... Um, the actual public release has happened and then I will start doing tutorials to help you guys out with Cody 17 so that's pretty much all I wanted to say just kinda of wanted to let you guys know that it was out there and give you my thoughts on it um, I will throw in some pictures some screenshots of what it's going to look like at the end of the video just so you guys can see what it looks like and yeah so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you did like this video please like and share also if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can and finally please remember to subscribe to this channel if you like my videos and my tutorials do help you out thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one so I was just going to show you some snapshots, but I thought I would just take you um, to the website so that I can show you just some pictures. Um, if you want to do some reading about Cody 17, I will put the link in the description. But look at this splash screen. Look at the way that it's laid out. It is completely revamped. A lot of you know layout changes, and it looks nothing like the Confluence skin we know today. Um, this is why I was talking about for those who are not fans of change, especially when it comes to electronics and things that they've just gotten used to. This might take a little bit of getting used to. Um, it does look quite different than what we are used to, and but it looks nice. I really do like the way that it's looking. Now, the thing that I was saying, if you look at the way that the add-ons are uh, pictured in here, they're not really focusing on any third-party add-ons because the add-ons are not affiliated with Cody and the XBMC Foundation or Cody Foundation. The, uh, so my worry is, is as Cody, the Cody Foundation has never really taken an active stance on getting rid of third-party add-ons or anything like that. It's an open-source software. So my worry is that as Cody goes on, they will make more of an attempt to get rid of third-party developers. Um, so that's kind of why I'm hanging back a little bit as well. Now if you come down here, this is yet another way they're trying to keep the end user um, sticking to just Cody. They've also put in some themes here. Uh, nothing quite different than what we have so far, you know, like as far as them having themes and skins, but still, I think that they really are trying to focus on keeping the end user away from third party developers. So, if you come down here, what they have done too is they have made a nicely designed skin for touch devices. So, for like iPads and Galaxy Notes and whatnot, um, they've done another screen for them. That is because right now, if you've ever tried to use Kodi, on a portable device it's a pain in the butt because the screens are just not touch friendly and it's not very fun uh, with some screens so they've revamped and done a Kodi screen um, for you guys who are using Kodi on touch devices so if you want to do some more looking around and stuff again I'll put the link in the description but I just thought I would show you rather than just show you pictures